Hi, everyone, and welcome to the very first Coloring Outside the Box podcast. I'm really excited and a little uh, anxious about doing this because part of my temperament is always to feel like I'm biting off more than I can chew. However, that's never stopped me before, so I doubt it's going to stop me now. So what is Coloring Outside the Box exactly? Well, it's meant to be eclectic, challenging, supportive, uh, sometimes funny, uh, never dull, Didn't, wouldn't want that to be true. And I, I, I look to share stories to help us all na navigate life with passion and purpose, insight and understanding, and really to delve into the nooks and crannies of all that it is to be human, which of course leaves me quite a lot of territory to cover uh, and quite a lot of chance to, I hope, um, introduce both myself and you to parts of ourselves in life that sometimes stump us, sometimes celebrate us, sometimes encourage us, sometimes make us feel like we're uh, climbing up Mount Everest with in high heels. That's life. So why call it coloring outside the box? Well, partly because in our world, we all live in boxes and those boxes can sometimes be extremely limiting as much as we seek them because we think that life will, uh, that will make life easier and simpler, safer, more secure, when in fact, uh, they are often places and spaces where we put things that we don't want to talk about. So part of what this podcast will be about will be about talking about stuff that takes us outside our comfort zone at the same time as it shows us the parts of ourselves that we can truly embrace and celebrate. So part of this, of course, will be hoping that you will be willing to share your stories with me. Now, when we get a little bit farther along in this and I get a little more comfortable with this format, we, I will actually be interviewing people live, I hope. Now, uh, in my background as a journalist, I've done a lot of interviewing, so that part doesn't really uh, overwhelm me or scare me at all. And in my career as a journalist, I was always more focused on people than I was on facts. And so what we're going to be sharing in this podcast is, is about perception. It's about experience. It's about where we all live, where you live, where I live, inside and outside. And I'm really excited to be doing this because I've always had such a strong connection or need to, to bridge, build bridges between me and other people. It's one of the things that made me successful in my journalism career. And again, that was a little outside the box because I was more interested in people than I was in, in the factual basis of journalism. Not that facts aren't important, but they're only the first, um, they're the top level of what's really going on in people's world. And when I was a journalist, and I don't think it's that too much different now, the focus is, is uh, on covering not always the deeper aspects of life, but what's obvious, what's in front of you, definitely not much interested in the feeling, sensing, intuitive world. And of course, uh, at the same time I started my journalism career, I started studying astrology. And they were an interesting balance to each other and then after oh, about 23, 24 years in journalism, I left it behind and thinking that I would be a freelance writer because I do love to write. Uh, and that just didn't pan out because the universe said it's time for you to go in a different direction. So I started building a career uh, on astrology and opened up to my intuition and brought those things into what I think is, a, is an appropriate balance. At least it is in this 10 seconds. Anyway, because it, all of those things will 
And part of my letting you know more about me is so that you understand where I'm coming from, which will tell you something about what this podcast is about. Because I can tell you all kinds of really lovely things that I wrote down about the focus and the intent and all the other things. But it's important for you to know who I am because that's what you're, I am going to be the uh, facilitator, the channel for whatever is shared in this podcast. It's also really important for me to let you know that I honor all life experience. I don't have I don't have judgment uh, about the choices that people make. I want this podcast to be a safe space and a safe place for people to share who they are. Of course, understanding that you don't have any control over who actually watches it and how they might feel about the things that you've shared. We're also scared at times to share who we are, what we feel, and what we've experienced. So the focus in this podcast on storytelling, mine and yours, is precisely to give us the opportunity to be present, not with ourselves and with others, when it comes to our life story, because life is a story. We have many stories that make up that larger story. And some of the things that we talk about, I hope, will connect you to your own story. And at least uh, shift your perception. Because sometimes that's the hardest thing to do. That can be the biggest box in our lives is the perceptions and the beliefs that we carry uh, on subconscious levels that we're unaware of. So there may be times when, you know, your response to this podcast may not be life affirming. And I just want you to know whatever your response is, is it's fine. If you get triggered or stuff doesn't feel right to you, then you know there's something there that needs ex exploration. Because part of what this podcast is going to be is an exploration. An exploration of self. Because I really believe life happens from the inside out, not the other way around. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, I don't mean that you have control over, over everything that happens to you. However, you can take charge of what you do about that. I want you to let that sink in for a second because that's also a primary part of what I'm doing. The reason I'm doing this is to give you the chance to connect to yourself through whatever stories either I share or other people share. You know, right now we're doing a lot of, we're all in this together. This pandemic has reminded us that it, 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 it has no limits as to who it touches, that we're all vulnerable. And yet in that vulnerability, we can find strength. Vulnerability is not a weakness unless you're afraid of it. And, and most of us are. So been there, done that, bought the country. I also want you to know that uh, this is a place where you can be as open as you are comfortable with. If all you want to do is, is take what's said and use it in your life and never share a single thing with me, that's fine. And when we get to the end, I will give you the email address you can contact me at and indicate whether you'd like to share stories. And you can, you can share stories in a number of different ways. You can write me a letter. Uh, eventually, I can interview you on my podcast. or. Uh, 
I we can I can do an interview with you, a chat with you that's not recorded, and and we can talk and then you can let me know what parts of the story that you share that you would like me to share. You can decide whether you want to be identified on the podcast or not. So moving on from that, just a quick structural thing. Uh, the only things predictable about this podcast will be, uh, I'm going to do it once a week. It will be um, posted on Wednesdays. Uh, it will never be more than 10 to 20 minutes long. And the only time that I would ever go over that is, is, is if something is really speaks to me and really needs to be longer than that. People's lives are busy and you have lots going on. And in my career as a journalist, I really learned an awful lot about how to take a lot of really important stuff and cram it into a small space. So, uh, and kind of that's where I'm at right now, wondering what do I say now? Uh, so, of course, you will find out, or and you already know if you're looking at this at this uh, podcast that it's available uh, right now on YouTube. Uh, I will be posting this particular inaugural episode on my website just so people can have a taste. Of course, I would love it if you would subscribe. Uh, other structural things are this. Once a month, uh, as the sun enters uh, a new sign of the zodiac, I will be doing a forecast for the next, for our travel through that particular sign. And so this is the inaugural podcast, but I'll also be launching a second one at the same time, which looks at our trek through Gemini. And that will, and, and this is meant to replace the written forecasts that I was doing, because to be honest, after writing two Llewellyn Sun sign books, I got to a place where, and having done written forecasts for a number of years, I decided that uh, I no longer wanted to do that, that I no longer found it fun or uplifting. So uh, it's now going to be done in podcast form and it will be done in the same spirit as the written ones. Uh, I don't use a lot of astro astrological language because I don't assume that everybody listening understands uh, what I, what would be meant by that uh, the use of that kind of language and uh, and the astrologers who are watching will already understand what the astrological signature is without my telling them and so once a week not longer than 10 to 20 minutes uh, one month, one week of the month is predictable. As for the rest, we will cover whatever my little heart fancies or whatever the energy is calling to me. In my career as a journalist, uh, I often had an editor say to me, so we need something for the front of Sunday's life section. And this is on Tuesday. Can you think of anything? So I'm really used to flying by the seat of my pants. And I like, and when I follow the energy, it means that what I'm gonna talk about, I hope will speak to everyone. Now for the first few months, we're probably just gonna see me. Now that doesn't mean I won't share people's stories. If you want me to share your stories, please email me at thepathrevealed at outlook.com. And if you forget that, you can just go to my website, Leslie Francis, L-E-S-L-E-Y, Francis, F-R-A-N-C-I-S, dot com, and you'll find the email address there. So it's really been a pleasure opening this door, and I hope that you find coloring outside the box to be something that adds uh, a giggle or two, awareness, insight, understanding to, into your life. Thank you for joining me. I was gonna say see you next week because there will be another podcast next week. Number three though, number two is launching at the same time as this one. So thank you again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.